That's another thing I don't think people realize is we're walking around with devices that have our most personal thoughts, our relationships, our banking information. And whether it's a criminal or a law enforcement situation, or if you're crossing a border, by the way, if you're going on a vacation and you're going into another country, like you have no rights to protect that phone, right? So, you know, in this scenario, we have unique features in the product, not just to block the third party tracking, but to make it very easy to basically like remotely wipe your phone. So like... One of the things we have, which I love is like, um, we call it emergency reset. So I have like a false pin on my phone, which I won't tell you, but if someone like demanded that I open my phone, I can tell them a code that will wipe the phone and replace it with essentially fake data. I can also tell the phone, Hey, if I'm not back here in 30 minutes or two days or two weeks, wipe things like that, you know? And then lastly, there's like the top of the pyramid, which is like all of the unintended electronic tracing that can happen or penetration that can happen outside of like the kind of commonplace third party stuff. And, you know, this is things like, you know, turning off your phone and not realizing that when it's off, it's actually pinging towers to do some data transmission that you, you aren't aware of and you've just left a trail of your location, right?